Um, well, I can get my papers sorted. Tracking around these things is a nuisance. Oh, it's not time. Right, okay, so agenda. Item one, substitutes nominated for this meeting and apologies for absence. And apologies have been received by Councillor Curtin and we have Councillor Lee substituting right. on his behalf. Right, and no apologies. Can I remind members of the need to declare any disclosable pecuniary interests or other interests they might have in relation to the items included on the agenda? Um, it's not recommended that the public be excluded from the meeting for the consideration of the item of business on this agenda. Uh, minutes of the meeting of the Planning Committee on the 29th of September to be approved as a, a correct record. I'm sure people have seen those. Happy to propose. Chair. Right. Have we got that? Proposers and seconders. Okay, thank you very much. Um, withdrawal applications. Can we notify of the withdrawal of applications contained on the planning applications list to be considered at this meeting? Yes, Chair. Um, the two withdrawn applications are planning application 19 forward slash 0125, sorry, 01254 forward slash FUL and 20 forward slash 00241 forward slash CON. And they're um, in consultation with yourself and the legal team, they're withdrawn from consideration at this committee for legal reasons. Okay, can I just apologise to everybody for such short notice? For, and for anybody who's watching as well. Um, there's a number of technical issues that came up that we had to withdraw them at the last minute. So I'm sorry there wasn't more notice. Um, we're going to actually, the only remaining planning application. I'm sorry, I can't work out how to use two different screens, one which is a contact one. Um, so the remaining application is 20008443 variation, uh, 27 site lane, Lightcliff, Brighouse. Thank you. Can we have the present officer's presentation? Yes, Chair. If you just bear with me, I'll try and get to share it. Sorry, Chair, I'm just struggling to be able to share it. Okay. Apologies, Steve, uh, Chair. Yeah. Okay. I was having trouble getting in. <laughs> right, we have, we're I only can't just hear starting. You. Are you aware that the first two items have been withdrawn? So there is only the third item on the agenda. Uh, sorry, Chair, I'm still having problems being able to share. Sorry, Chair, do you have to be the horse to be able to share your screen? Maria, if it helps, would you like to send it through to me? Yeah, please, if, if I could. Thank you, it's just, oh, let me just try again. Let me try one more time, if you don't mind. Now, we can normally share. It normally works after a few glitches. <laughs>
think I'm nearly there. Bear with me. Oh, yeah. Yes. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Is that coming up clear now, Chair? Yes. Yes. Okay, thank you. Right, this is consideration of planning application 20 forward slash 00843 forward slash VAR. It's a variation on condition one, which is the plans drawing for previous planning application 19 forward slash 01305 forward slash FUL. And it's to substitute drawings for amended house design. And this relates to plot two only. Um, just to summarize then, the changes relate to the fenestration of plot two, including adding of bay window to the kitchen dining area with a balcony to the master bedroom above and the omission of a chimney. Um, but print remains substantially the same as approved, with the only exception being the increased of ground floor level of the feature bay to the kitchen dining area. Um, one letter of representation um, received. There has been some discussions about levels shown on the plans and the accuracy of those levels. So um, in between the agenda being published, there has been various correspondence with objectors and with the agent for the application. And your officers are happy that those shown on the um, submitted plans are correct. And I do understand that the agent is here to answer questions if you have got anything on that levels matter. Um, just running through then, um, key issues, principle of development. Obviously, majority of the site li lies within a, a primary housing area. The access is through Greenbelt land, um, but the principle was established through the previous approval um, of the 2019 scheme. Housing issues, you will be aware um, that we do not have a five-year housing land supply. Um, we only have two years, so the MPPF comes into play and basically um, the, there is the principle in favour of sustainable development. Residential amenity and materials layout and design. Hopefully you've been able to look at all the details on page 36 and 37 of your agenda because that sets out quite clearly um, the distances involved and some of the level information as well. Um, there has been some discussions about um, the impact on number 10 um, regarding the um, playroom window and the objector um, did see whether we needed to provide that as an obscure window. The agent agreed that that would um, would be acceptable, but as officers, we don't feel it's necessary at this stage. And hopefully you'll see as we go through the pictures because of the levels and also because of the vegetation in between the properties. There are no highways objections. I'm afraid you've frozen. Oh. Am I frozen? Are you, can you hear me? No, have I frozen? No, You're not frozen to me. No, no, sorry. You're all right. I can hear Maria, yeah. I think. Councillor Sweeney, can you hear me? I can hear you now, yeah. You went off screen. Okay, sorry about that. Yeah, um, so then no highways objections. Um, would it conform with flooding and drainage policies, um, subject obviously to the usual conditions? On ground conditions, we'd be looking to have an informative as it's obviously a, a low risk area um, due to historic potential for historic mining activity and trees and landscaping. There was a condition on the original application, the original approval for a landscaping scheme, and we will be pulling that through obviously to, to this application. Right, I'll just take you through some of the um, plans and <coughs> photographs then, just, just to help you in consideration, because obviously this does come down to a lot of the detail of the site.
Can you still see that, members? Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Right. Yes. So this got, is the slide. Two slides on screen at the moment. Oh, so you've got two. Yeah. You've got two slides up at the moment. Right. Let me um. Let me go back. Um. We've got your view, where's rather than the public one. That any better? Better, yeah. That's, it. That's, yeah. It. That's lovely. Thank you. Bear with me. I should need to do this more than every three weeks, I think, to get to, to know how to do it. Um, right, so this is the site which I think um, some members will be fairly familiar with because I know it's been the subject of a number of applications over the years. Um, an aerial photograph again showing you the site. And um, I'm sorry if you're not too clear, but basically these are the um, submitted plans in terms of changes. But as I've said to you, they are mainly to the fenestration relating to the addition of a bay window and a balcony, balcony to a first floor um, bedroom. This again is the um, site plan, which shows, and you'll see the dotted line um, to the left hand side of the screen, that's plot two. That's the plot we're considering today. Right. This is the obviously the, the starts of the works for plot two, looking towards the southwest corner of the site. Um, a retaining wall showing level difference with Bramley View. I referred to number 10 back Bramley View, which is actually behind those trees um, in the top right hand corner. All the trees are to be retained. The view is south towards ten, uh, 10 Bramley View. And view west of the site. View north of the site. View east towards plot one and 27 site lane. And that you can see it, this is plot two on the right hand side sitting alongside plot one. Access into the site, um, which obviously was permitted in the last application, there's your pl plot one. 27 site lane and plot one looking south. And a, a view from the entrance to the access, just showing you um, the positioning of plot two. And there we have the, um, the maps and photograph councillors, and we are looking to permit subject to a number of conditions as discussed. Thank you. Thank you. Drop the screen again. For the moment. Can you get out a shared screen now yeah. we're in? Oh, yeah, I've just done it, sorry. <laughs> okay, thank you. Members, any questions? Nobody, no, can't see any, I'm scrolling through. Okay, thank you. Uh, we have no objectors wishing to speak. No, no councillors wishing to speak. And the agent is there, is it the agent or the architect or someone is there? It's the it's architect members. chair. Yeah, so do members wish to ask the architect any questions? No, I can't see anybody. No. Okay. Can we move over then on to comments? <coughs> sorry, Councillor. Hello. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry, Councillor. That's all right. Um, um just to you up. <laughs> well, we can't see everyone, can we, at once? That's the problem no. with Zoom. Um, right. The distance to the proposed side gable, which has a secondary aspect window, playroom to the main aspect windows on the ground floor of 10 Bramley View should be on, should be 18 metres. 
but on the drawing, this is much less. Now, there's another comment um, from another person, Mr. I don't know who it is, um, a neutral one. And that says that it's actually 18.9. So do we have any confirmation on this, on these measurements? Uh, Councillor, I mean, we, in terms of the consideration of the plans, it is 17 metres, which oh. is obviously below the standard of 18, but not su that substantially below that it would cause harm, that we would want to look at refusing it on that basis. OK, thank you. <coughs> Any further questions? No. In that case, can we go to comments or proposals? Councillor Bellinger. Thank you, Chair. Um, uh, we've followed this for quite a number of years now. I've seen this in front of us quite a number of times. Um, I'm happy with everything that I've seen today, and therefore I'm happy to propose that we'll go with officers' recommendations to uh, permit. OK. Seconder or amendments? Councillor Baines? Um, yeah, I'm pleased to second that, uh, Chair. Okay. Any further comments, proposals? In that case, can we go to the vote? All those in favour of proposals following officers' recommendations? Okay. And I think that's unanimous as far as I can see. But any objections? Uh, uh, sorry, any votes against? No. And no abstentions. OK, in that case, it goes with officers' recommendations and that's the end of the planning committee.